Michael is an old man with a secret. People think he is just a normal guy who sells insurance, but his story has more to it. Michael lives with his lovely wife and bright child. He sells insurance for 10 years and does well. But before that, he is a policeman for seven years. No one knows why he leaves the police force. One day, Michael's wife drops him at the train station for his usual ride to work. Over time, Michael gets to know many people on the train and makes friends with some. This day is about to take a surprising turn. When Michael gets to work, his boss calls him into the office and suddenly fires him for no reason. Michael feels all his hard work for the last 10 years is wasted. He is close to retirement and at 60, finding a new job seems very hard. Michael and his wife don't have savings and they need money for their child's school. Feeling sad, Michael goes to a bar for a beer. There, he meets Alex Murphy, an old friend from his police days and another police friend who is now a captain. After leaving the bar, Michael takes the train home. On the train, someone bumps into him and steals his phone. Michael realizes too late to catch the thief. Trying to forget about it, Michael starts reading a book. Then, a woman named Jonah sits down in front of him. They start talking, and Jonah offers Michael a challenge with a chance to win $100,000. He needs to find a person called Pry before the train stops at Cold Spring Station. Jonah tells Michael to put a tracking device in Pry's bag. Pry is just another person on the train, not knowing about Michael's secret task. Jonah leaves $25,000 in the train's restroom for Michael as a start. She has one big rule. Michael can't tell anyone about this secret mission. Jonah gets off the train early, leaving Michael confused and surprised. When Michael finds the money in the restroom, he thinks about keeping it for himself because he needs money badly. He plans to leave the train soon, without doing the mission. But as the train stops, a young boy gives Michael an envelope. Inside, Michael finds his wife's wedding ring. This scares Michael because it means his family could be in trouble. Jonah was making sure Michael did what she asked. Michael tries to call his wife but he can't reach her. He also can't get in touch with his friend Murphy, so he leaves a voicemail for Murphy, telling him about his problem. Michael then asks for help from Walt, another person who rides the train. He writes a note on Walt's newspaper to explain what's happening and asks Walt to tell the police at the next station, but Jonah calls Michael and says he broke the rule by telling Walt. She says this will cause Walt to be in danger. As Michael looks outside, he sees something very sad. Walt gets hit by a bus just as he's about to cross the street. Now, Michael knows he can't ask for help from anyone. He starts to do what Jonah asked. He looks at everyone's train tickets, trying to find Pry by checking a special mark on the tickets. He's looking for a ticket with a hole punched at number 7. He's looking for someone going to Cold Spring Station. After checking every corner of the train, Michael spots a few people who might be the one he's searching for. One man, who always keeps a bag with him, seems extra suspicious. When Michael asks this man if he's Pry, the situation flips. The man starts asking Michael tough questions, making it clear he knows how to handle trouble. This makes Michael even more sure that he's found the right guy. So, in the middle of their chat, Michael secretly puts a tracking device in the man's bag, thinking he's done what he needed to. Soon, Michael's friend Murphy calls him. Murphy knows Michael is in a tricky spot. He tells Michael that Pry saw something very important. Pry was the only one who knew the truth about a government worker who was wrongly accused and then killed by powerful people in the city. Pry was supposed to tell this secret to an FBI agent at Cold Spring Station. But now, the bad guys knew about Pry's plan and tricked Michael into finding her to stop her from talking. Michael realizes his mistake. He was used to track down Pry for the wrong reasons. Worrying about his family's safety, Michael talks to Murphy for help. Then, Jonah calls Michael with shocking news. He put the tracking device in the wrong bag and now that person is in danger. With the train getting closer to Cold Spring Station, Michael rushes to find the real Pry. But he finds a man, not moving, on the train floor. Michael is heartbroken to learn he accidentally helped in hurting an FBI agent who was there to protect Pry. Just then, it hits Michael. One of the passengers is working with Jonah. As the train stops at the next station, Michael knows he's in the middle of a very dangerous game. He needs to figure out what to do next, not just for Pry, but for his family too. Michael has a really tough day. He has to hide because someone sees him acting strangely and tells the police. He ends up hiding near someone who isn't alive anymore. The police look for him, but can't find him. The train keeps going, and Michael finds himself in another tricky situation. He has to get back on the train from the outside, but loses some of his money in the process. Once back on the train, Michael comes up with a plan. He turns off the air conditioning in all but one car, hoping to bring everyone together. This would help him find Pry, not to harm her but to protect her. Michael feels it is his job, just like when he was a policeman, to keep innocent people safe. 
As they get closer to Cold Spring Station, Michael thinks he found Pry. He is ready to keep her safe with a hatchet. But he is wrong about who she is. The real troublemaker is someone else, working with Jonah, who has caused all this mess. They fight, and Michael has to push the bad guy off the train. Then Jonah calls again. She wants Michael to do something terrible to Pry. Michael says, no way. Jonah gets mad and makes a big explosion happen in the front of the train. The train can't stop because the brakes are broken. Michael doesn't give up. He helps everyone move to the back of the train, and then detaches it from the front part that went off the tracks. He tells everyone to cover the windows to stay hidden. Then he talks to Pry to find out what is really going on. Pry tells Michael a story that matches what his friend Murphy had said. She saw something very bad happen. But there's a twist. The bad guy is a police officer who has done something very wrong. This officer talked about something called Noble. Michael knows he has to keep Pry safe so she can tell her story. It is more important than ever to make sure she gets to Cold Spring Station safely. Pry is supposed to meet an FBI agent at the station to keep her safe. Michael promises to look after her, making sure she gets there safely. Suddenly, all the passengers learn about the serious danger they're in. Outside the train, the police, thinking Michael has taken over the train with the passengers as hostages, are ready to catch him. Captain Howard and Murphy, both friends of Michael, are there too. Murphy, supposed to talk Michael into freeing the passengers, is also worried about Michael's family. Earlier, Michael had told Murphy about a tricky challenge he faced. While talking, Murphy accidentally says, Noble, making Michael look at Pry, who is hiding. Her story about a police officer's bad deed points straight at Murphy. When Jonah calls, asking Murphy to harm Pry, everything becomes clear. But Michael is determined to protect her at all costs. A sniper, thinking he is aiming at Michael because of a mix-up with an X-ray marker, accidentally shoots Murphy. When the police and FBI storm the train, the passengers stand by Michael, calling him a hero. An FBI agent confirms that Michael's family is safe, and Pry's story helps clear Michael's name. The police realize Michael has saved an important witness from a big conspiracy. Later, Michael finds Jonah on a train and confronts her, showing his police badge, ending her dangerous plans. Our movie story wraps up here.